The soft drink was born at the drugstore soda fountain, where pharmacists would serve up various flavors of carbonated water, initially considering it a medicinal drink. These sodas became so popular that customers wanted to be able to buy them in bottles to take home. That demand spawned the soft drink industry. Every year, almost 195 billion liters of soft drinks are sold in America. That's about 30 liters for every person on Earth. These two liter bottles just arrived from the bottle factory after being shipped to the soda factory via the shipping truck factory. The rinsing machine turns the bottles upside down, rinses them with water, and then turns them right side up once the water drains out. That's why this machine is called the rinsing machine and not the filling machine. Meanwhile, in the mixing room, water alchemists prepare whatever soft drink they'll be bottling in this production run. Each recipe begins with a violet hose spray of filtered water, compounded by a shower of unfiltered water to help cut costs for the factory. Liquid black is added to the water. No one is entirely sure what liquid black is or where it comes from, but it consistently makes the tastiest sodas known to man. More water is added to the liquid black as needed. Water and liquid black are the only two ingredients in soda. The amount of water used to dilute the liquid black will end up determining the soda's color, flavor, and fizziness. Then, and only then, do the bottles travel to the filling machine to be filled with soda. Remember, the earlier machine was not the filling machine. That was the rinsing machine. The filling machine, seen here, fills the bottles with soda. The rinsing machine only rinses out the bottles beforehand. It does not fill them with soda. Please do not confuse the two. Now it's on to the capping machine. In other countries, this machine is also called the hatting machine, the stopper machine, the rinsing machine, or the topping machine. Then it's on to labeling. The machine's rollers apply cold glue to a series of metal plates. Each plate grabs a label and adheres it to the bottle. To hype up the soda for its supermarket debut, the bottles are run through a series of brushes. The brushes simulate them giving a series of high fives to a crowd as they make their entrance, similar to a marathon runner or a pro wrestler. Elsewhere in the factory, an uncasing machine unloads recyclable plastic bottles that have come to the soda factory from the recyclable plastic bottle factory. They travel a conveyor belt to patiently wait in line to be moved to the bottle washing machine. Bottle security is constantly monitoring this line for any bottles that try to cut ahead or get a wash without paying. After being washed, they move to Bottle Customs, where Bottle Security uses a full bottle scanner to examine for any problem bottles. Problem bottles are removed from the line and are taken away for 2-10 to 10 hours of interrogation. Now the bottles move to the same filling machine from earlier, which has been modified to fill the smaller bottles with orange soda and is not the rinsing machine. I want to reiterate, that machine earlier in the video was not the filling machine. It was the rinsing machine. This is the filling machine. Please stop sending emails to fillingmachine or rinsing machine at gmail.com asking whether a machine you saw is a filling machine or a rinsing machine. Thank you. Meanwhile, at a local middle school science fair, Dustin Stoker is trying to show everyone his amazing soda syrup experiment, which he claims is an incredible study of chemical reactions and compounds, but everyone knows is just a fancier version of the baking soda volcano. Fuck you, Dustin. No one's buying it. The capping machine makes a return as it puts a metal cap on each bottle. And finally, the mass production of Kiri Soda is ready, just in time for everyone to ask, what the hell is Kiri Soda? 
Look guys, it's not our fault that Coke and Pepsi are giant cowards who don't want anyone to know their production secrets. But hey, Kiri Soda is bottled in Uganda, where they don't even remotely give a shit. So the next time you're looking for a tasty soft drink in the middle of Africa, consider Kiri Cola, the only soda company with the balls to show you how it's made.